So, you're back for more Instagram tips, eh? Uh -huh. Well, you're in the right spot. Get ready for five more Instagram mistakes that you can't afford to make in 2022. I'm David from Minichat, and let's get right into it. Number one, hiding content in your stories. Instagram has over 1 billion monthly users. To say it's hyper competitive is an understatement. This is not the place where you wanna play coy. When you have a new post and try to promote it in your story, but put a cute sticker over it, what you're really doing is making it harder for someone to find value in your content. When someone doesn't find value, they move on. For example, I'm not gonna put a sticker over my face for this whole video in hopes that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and go to minichat.com to sign up. I'm gonna provide value to you up front in hopes that you stick around and see what I do. Plus, if you're sharing reels in your story, those views count just like regular views in the feed. There's no reason to cover it up. And that brings me to my next mistake. Number two, not using Instagram Reels. Reels are Instagram's hottest new feature and they're not going anywhere. I'm not leaving. <laughs> if you don't believe me, just ask Instagram influencer and mini chat expert, Brock Johnson. John Mayer. Alrighty, John Mayer, Trevor Noah. John Mayer. Reels give you the best chance out of any content to expand your reach, find new followers, and turn them into customers. If you're already doing video content, just make sure to post it as an Instagram reel in a vertical format, and you can look forward to up to a 22% increase in engagement. In 2022, ignoring the Instagram reel is a huge mistake. Mistake number three, not using subtitles. If you're using Instagram in a public place, hopefully you're doing it with the sound off. If you're not optimizing your videos to be consumed with the sound off, people might scroll right past you. Whenever you're making a video with Instagram, you can always add text as well as using the caption sticker in the app. It's easy. All you have to do is add the caption sticker when you're recording your content. Then boom, everybody can read you loud and clear. Speaking of text, this next mistake is a huge missed opportunity for Instagrammers, especially with Reels. Number four, forgetting about your captions. There are so many ways you can use your captions to engage with your audience. Even if you're just posting simple, like an image of a plant. If you post a caption saying how this plant was passed down through your family from generations and generations, and how it's your most prized possession, you can add an entire new layer of context to the simple picture. Or if you make a short reel that references information in your caption, the viewer will scroll down to read your content while the reel keeps playing and playing. Every single time this reel replays, you get another view and the Instagram algorithm realizes that viewers really like your content. So they push it more and more and your reach expands. In short, don't ignore your captions. And lastly, number five, forgetting the call to action. Let me set the scene. You've made the best content Instagram has ever seen. Viewers are watching it again and again and loving it. Yay! But now what? You need to tell your viewer what to do after consuming your content. What action do you want the viewer to take? Follow you for more tips? Maybe comment or share with a friend. Or maybe you want them to click the link in your bio to purchase one of your products. But if you don't tell the user specifically what you want them to do, how are they supposed to read your mind? Including a simple prompt at the end of all your content makes a world of difference. But don't get greedy. <laughs> Your content will be most effective if you choose one call to action. Sure, after watching this video, I'd love for you to like it, subscribe to our channel, sign up for mini chat, come to my house, chat, come to my house, and mow my lawn. But I know the more call to actions that I tell you to do, the less likely it is that you'll do any of them. That's why it's so important to just choose one call to action per piece of content. Anyways, if you stop making these five mistakes on your Instagram, your insights will thank you. But there are more mistakes that if you make them, your Instagram account won't grow at all. If you haven't seen this video right here, make sure to watch it immediately before you change anything about your Instagram strategy. That is my one call to action to you.